simple things. For example, the first thing is uh, for security reasons on the settings part, uh, it's better to have uh, the password that is not uh, visible. So this was my mistake to do it this way. So let's go to our My Chats include folder and go to settings to change that real quickly. So instead of type text on the password, uh, we're going to go back to password. Like that, great. So now if I go back to settings, uh, I see it like that. So uh, that's more secure, just in case somebody is looking over your shoulder while you're trying to uh, change the settings, great. And then the next thing is we want when we refresh this uh, page, because right now when we refresh the page, it doesn't show anything. Um, if this is the beginning like this, it comes in like this. But what we want is to start with the contact area here. This should be the opening page. This should be the landing page. So it's easy to do this. The only thing we have to do is make sure the contact um, checkbox is checked and then we retrieve the required data. So all we have to do is go to index.php. Let's look at our event listeners down here. So this is label chats, this one right here. So get chats is the part that we we're activating when this is clicked. Okay. So let me copy that and I'm going to go, actually, let me go down here. Uh, no, it's not get chats. It's actually get contacts. This one right here, get contacts. That's the one. So at the very end here, we're going to let it do that. So let me come back here and see if there's no other function. Okay, so there's get user info. So right here, we can put one more, which is for get contacts. So I'm going to paste it right there, get contacts, great. Now the only thing is uh, we have to make sure that uh, the contacts page is the one that's showing. So to do that, we come back here to the labels uh, these are the radio buttons. So we have to make sure that radio contacts is active. So let me come back here and move down here, right there. So var radio contacts is equal to get element by ID radio contacts. So once we have that, what we will do is radio contact dot checked is equal to true and that's it so now when i reload my page let me reload from there i end up here okay so I'll go to chats oops what's going on here there's an error okay oh that's because when i click here i'm not supplying um all right, so the error is coming from, let me go to chats here. That's because when I just click from there, this is not available. So I have to check if this is available. So let me put an uh, if statement here. This is in chats.php. I'm going to say if is set that, okay, then we will do this part. However, if it is not set, We'll do something else so instead of putting an else statement let's just put it at the top here and say user id is equal to um, what do i say here mm, i think an else statement would be better so what i would do is let me put else here because i have to do more than one thing so the sql will go in here there if this is set we'll have that sql let me duplicate this. If it's not set, we'll have a different SQL. So this SQL will... Wait, 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 wait. Actually here, there's no need to do all this. 
since we haven't found the user so we're just going to return this part so if it's not set we're just simply going to do this paste there user not found so we're going to say mm, actually we have user not found already so okay getting confused here a little bit so let's remove the else statement so we are right here let's just get this and put it at the top here so let's put just something ridiculous to start with so instead of empty we're just going to say uh, now something like this so I'm putting it to this because I know that this will return nothing here and then if it doesn't return anything here it will automatically go to this part which is good and then if this is set we're going to set it to that then it's going to return something okay so let's go back and give it a spin let me just click there okay so i still get that error there maybe it's the error of uh... okay all right so at this point i simply need to find out what the error is because clearly i'm failing to do so so let me go back here at the handle result so i'm simply going to put an alert here ooh, ooh. my virus update is out of date okay so alert result that's what we want to do there so let me refresh here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then click here so message that contact was not found data type error okay so it's working fine it's just that uh, I don't have data type error yeah so I need one that contains error here so I'm just going to duplicate this so this is in handle handle result so I'm simply going to duplicate this Ah, oh, wait a minute this is cumbersome so instead of doing this let me go back to chats and right here instead of putting error I think I should put chats this will solve all those problems yeah so refresh page contacts and that contact is not found great and then if I click here now chatting with there chatting with that one okay great so everything is awesome now i'll see you in the next video where we actually create a box here to type in something and chat with this person right here i'll see you in the next video